Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using this titanium dioxide sunscreen called Derma Finish Cover Coverage Cosmetics. Um, I, I believe they're affiliated with L'Oreal from the way that it looked when I received the package. So the Derma Finish Coverage Cosmetics is corrective fluid foundation, 16 hour color wear with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. I actually got this color in Sand 35. They didn't have a lot of color um, choices and so I ended up, I kept vacillating between two so I decided to go with the Sand. The sand is a lot darker than my skin, but uh, to make myself feel better, I figured that the more I am out in the sun over the summer, the darker my skin might become. So it was okay to have this ready, but I do like the fact that it does have the uh, SPF 30 in it. So we're gonna see how this holds up in a normal day, workday wear test and see how it performs. I won't be touching up, I won't be powdering anymore. What you see is the start of the the foundation and we're gonna play it to the end and see how well it does at the end. So the makeup bounced in really nice. Everything went on super easy, so no problems there. Um, so now, yeah, we're just gonna see how this bad boy performs all through the day. And <clears throat> at the end of the workday, we'll find out how well it did so fingers crossed for Vici and we'll see how this bad boy performs okay so today we're gonna try the Vici laboratories foundation it's a derma finish and it's a corrective fluid foundation for 16 hour wear it has a broad spectrum number 30 and this color is in sand didn't have um, this website didn't have a lot of colors so that was kind of a bummer and I picked one way too dark, way too dark. So this weekend I was out in the sun a little bit so you can see my little red on my nose. I look like Rudolph. I did just put on a MAC stripping cream. So we're gonna try that as my primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dab some of this on. You will see that it is a bit darker, which on one hand, isn't bad because I had planned on, well, with summer here and me being outside, I figured my skin was gonna get darker. That's how I went ahead and made myself feel better since I picked the wrong color. What is that called? When you, you can make it make sense in your head? Justify, I justified it. So anyways, I have tried this once more, but I didn't have it on my face all that long. So it'll be neat to see how this performs today with an all day wear test. But you can see it definitely warmed up my skin. It did cover almost all the way my little age spot. And this is just with one application, so I'm not gonna build it up any further. I think it's fine where it's at. And let's see. It says it helps prevent sunburn use as directed. It decreases the risk of cancer and early aging caused by the sun. Says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply every two hours. Uh, use a resist water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. So it's really kind of interesting how the derma finish makes it sound like it's more kind of an outdoor cream for your face. We'll say we'll just use that. Okay. So now we're gonna go into the rest of my face and see how the makeup sets on it. And then we'll go from there. So we'll see how well Derma Finish does today, shall we? We are at 11 hours with the Vici Derma Finish Coverage Cosmetics. So now it's time to get close and personal. Let's do it. Boom, close and personal, here we are. And I'm leaning in. So 
Let me move this little mirror here so I can get my little handy dandy mirror here. All right, what's the final consensus? So it is shiny at end of day. Um, it didn't get as hot today as it was the other day. But if you look at my nose, it looks like it's about ready to slide off. Like, I have a feeling if I touch my nose right now, it's coming off. And over on this side, ho ho, holy moly. This side, yeah, it's just kind of sliding off my nose. But we're used to that, right? Um, chin, chin is red, but I did rest my chin on my hand. Uh, finger a lot today while I was thinking Forehead it is oily Ooh, Look at those wrinkles Ugh. It is oily, but it doesn't look as like it's gonna Totally slide off as much as my nose look at that nose. It is totally sliding off. Holy mackerel so from a distance That made me want to sing a song I'm horrible at singing. So from a distance, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Like I could get through a work day and I mean, I've seen other foundations way worse than this one by far, but yeah, my nose and chin have a problem. Um, even though I used a strobing cream underneath it, it really doesn't look all that different from any other foundation that I've really used. So overall, um, I will probably use up this foundation. Would I repurchase it? I don't know. So this does have an SPF 30 in it. I would probably have to compare this to some of the other ones that I really like. If the one other ones that I, typically like have an SPF in it, I probably would not purchase this again because I already have my favorites. But if they don't have the SPF 30 in it, then this will remain one of my go-to for summer or when I'm outside or I'm, I know that I'm going to be outside for a long time. I can see myself gravitating towards this because it does have the SPF in it. So yeah, I mean, it wasn't all that bad really considering. I was not expecting this, to be honest with you. I thought that after, and it does say 16 hour wear, I really thought with a strobe primer that it would have slid off my face, especially because the strobe primer is a cream. Creams don't really like me as well as just a spray. So I think what I might do is tomorrow go ahead and try this again with my Scandinavia and see if that has any difference because I'm pretty impressed with this, with the SPF. That's what I'm impressed with. Anyways, all right, so we'll see how tomorrow goes. Thank you so much for watching this video using the Vici Laboratories Derma Finish Foundation. I hope you found this hopeful in your upcoming purchases. If you did, um, if you did like this video, please leave your comments, questions below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a great one.